first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash. Yahweh is the name of our Heavenly Father. It means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He is who saves. Yahweh Kadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So this is where we're coming to. We're coming to the end of the harvest. We're coming to the end of the... We have sown seeds. The, the prophets have gone out. They've been sowing seeds. Yahweh Shai, the word has gone out, it's sown seeds. It's it's he has tried to separate the wheat from the chaff, the the you know, to separate the tares and well, tares being the confusion of faces, but sometimes also the just the rubbish. The tares is just the stuff that you don't want in the harvest, right? So um this is where we're at, you know, and we've come through in the UK now, we've come through the winter that cold arctic blast i think that's still going on in texas but we've come through that and now as i look around it's fairly sunny and everybody thinks everything's back to normal but we're just we're just in another time and this is kind of one of the most dangerous points that we can be face facing you know it's, it's you know but they say when they shall save peace and safety then comes sudden destruction. Right now, we've got a lot of people just chilling. They're out. They're shopping. They're back in there, doing whatever they were doing before. You know, they're looking like lockdown's going to be lifted. They're looking back to go to school. But the, you know, the hopeful elect, they we know to always keep a watch. Always keep a watch, even as the times change. You know, and I was thinking today, how much time has speed sped up. You know. Because it was also written in the, in the scriptures, you know, that the days will all be shortened, lest no flesh be saved. So we're going to see the time speeding up. And I feel like from the beginning of the year, felt like an autumn. And in January, it felt like a, it felt like a winter. And, and already it feels like spring or something, well, around spring. You know, so in three months we've we've gone through three seasons. It feels like, so just be watching these times, these times, how things are changing. You know, another brother showing a lot of chariots appearing in the skies. Times, watch the times. Keep the lamp trimmed. You know, though it tarry. Let's carry on. A time to weep, a time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. You know, and another brother was talking on, on this. I'm quoting another brother's back. I find all of the words that you are pushing so edifying. Another brother was talking about how when you pray for faith, you get broken down. You pray for faith and the first thing that you get, you get hit with calamity, you know. But that is the way... We are refined in the furnace of our affliction. That is how you build faith. That's how you build strength. You can't go to the gym and just do the light weights and then expect to be buff. That's how you build strength. That's how you build faith. That's how you build character. That's how you build wisdom. That's how you build fit, build fear. You know? I know that I've been getting too proud, thinking, yeah, man, I've been pushing out my videos. You know? I get I get licked to something and that brings me my humble ass back to reality as to where I am and who I am what I am and what the time is keep an eye on the time I just got that in my spirit today to do a, a quick lesson on time time let's carry on a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance and that's right it, it's also said in the scriptures Oh my God, I don't want to butcher it, but it says something along the lines that the men of the Lord, you know, we don't go, we're not, we're not in the house of mirth. We're not in, we're not there, laughing. And there will come a time when we will celebrate. 
is also written that that these times the, the this this time when Yahweh Shai comes back will be one of the greatest celebrations that we will have when we remember this time. But that's not the time right now. We're not we shouldn't be in the house of mirth in celebration. We should be in the house of mourning. Carry on. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. You know? And the casting of the away stones that brings back that that already um brings back scriptures. You know, the stone that the builders rejected. There was a time when Yahweh Shai was was cast away. You know, the, the the men who were building the house of the Lord cast cast him away. Even though he was the keystone, they cast him away when they were trying to build the house of, of, of Israel, when they were trying to build, you know, the church. You know? And a time to gather stones, a time to gather stones together, you know? We'll, then we will rebuild that church. That church will be rebuilt through the house shy. We will rebuild that church. That church is gonna is being rebuilt. Is being rebuilt as we speak. You know, the spiritually dead are remembering who they are in the house of their oppressors. They are remembering who they are. And the stone which the builder rejected. What did he say? What did the Harashai say? Let me see if I can search for it. I never remember references so well. The stone. Fuck. How was shy that said that? Stone witch. I might not be able to remember it. The stone, Matthew 21 and 42. The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Yeah, so it's the keystone. It's the it's the stone which everything will rest on. The salvation, the the foundation of the house of the church will rest on. Yeah. So it's key. Mm. That's the stones. Verse 6. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent. That means to tear up and a time to sow a time to keep silent and a time to speak and that goes back to another one of the, the um, lessons that one of the brothers Akiyam has been pushing it always talks about discretion I used to think to my this guy loves me chatting about discretion you know but it's so it's essential it's essential because there is a time to speak and there is a time to be quiet like another brother was saying um Another brother was saying, yeah, that when, when people ask you about this truth, you have to be quiet. And I don't agree with that. I think you have to use discretion. There will be a time to speak. There will be a time to speak. But there's more times there's times to shut up, so, which is why I do agree with what you're saying too. More, most of the time, it's time to shut up. It's time not to speak. You know, it says, be um, in the scriptures, it says, be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, you know move smooth don't be going there rocking the boat wherever you go causing a, a ruckus rambunction commotion carrying on a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace and that all you know love and hate you know Jacob have I loved yet Esau have I hated when when Yahweh Shai was asked have you know where what how you know, how has he loved Israel? He replied, I've hated. I've hated um, Esau. Yeah, I've loved Jacob. What do you mean I never loved you? You know, in other scriptures he says, you couldn't love me. You couldn't love Israel as much as I love them with what they've done. You know? There's been a lot of love, but then there is a lot of hate. We are, you know, we, we are at the, we are oppressed. We are the oppressed. And as the brother said, you know, the more you get into this truth, the more oppression you'll get. 
It's also the building there. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God has given the sons of men to be exercised in it. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has set the world in their hearts, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life so i'm gonna i'm gonna shut off there um that's my my little chat <laughs> my little lesson on time i hope it's ever edifying um until next time shalom